What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Sean. And today we're going to be looking at Apple's journal app that came with 17.2. So let's get into it. All right, y'all. So we're going to jump into a screen share of this, but I'm just going to preface real quick. I'm excited about the journal app. I, I like journaling. I don't know if you guys like journaling, watching this. Um, I don't journal heavy, but I do journal. Um, and I do have a background, um, in mental health. And so I think Apple might be onto something here with the journal app in terms of adding it into the space of productivity and note taking, but you probably could sneak this under the category of health as well. So I'm curious to see what this app looks like. First things first, if you didn't download 17.2, you're not going to see this on your phone. Okay. So first things first, if you think that it just automatically will show up on your phone, it's not, you need to go and do a software update, update to the latest software 17.2. Then you will see the journal app, it looks like this here, like a, like almost like a butterfly, but I can see, looks like pages turning, looks kind of like a notebook. So we'll go ahead and open it up. Welcome to journal. All right. So I really like little icons up the top, the little, um, kind of, uh, hinting at what you can do in this app. Looks cool. Looks interactive. So you can write about your day, add photos, places, and more. You can lock your journal to keep it private. You can schedule time for writing and make it a habit. So I do like right off the bat, the ability to lock your screen, especially if you're journaling something super important or intimate to you. Privacy is key. That's what Apple's known for. And so adding the ability to lock this with face ID or probably a, a code as well, I would imagine. So I tested it out already and I have a journal entry here already. All right. Just says, Hey, my first journal entry, I didn't know what else to put on here. But as you can see, when you come in, you've got your plus at the bottom, which when you hit it will take you into kind of what looks a little convoluted, but it's similar to like photos, um, where it gives you some suggestions and things that you could start journaling about. So they've got recommended and then they've got recent based on date. All right. And then another thing that I liked in here that they have is they also have reflections. So you click on the reflection, it really kind of starts a journal prompt for you to go in and start journaling. And so if you're not sure what you want to write about these right here could be something to jumpstart your creativity. So we're not going to keep this entry. Let me go ahead and delete that. All right, but we'll go back into the plus and just scroll some more. So you've got things based off of what you've listened to. All right. So if I picked a podcast, all right, I could start writing a journal prompt based off of this podcast. So maybe you're on your way to work, you're listening to a daily podcast, and then you get to work and you want to jot down a couple journal notes about what you just listened to, something intimate. Um, this particular podcast, maybe I want to write down a devotional or something that I want to pray about for the day. You can come in, add your thoughts, and then save that journal entry, which is pretty cool. And so then kind of your classic three dots here, you can go in, delete, bookmark, or edit a journal entry if you want. Okay. It's so kind of a classic note taking feature there. Nothing too crazy. And then you've also got filters. So I don't have a ton of different entries just yet. So it's only really filtering it by music and podcasts. This first journal entry is really just simple, simplistic. It's kind of your basic entry that you would put. And so, you could go in as well and do music. You could start writing based off of some music that you've listened to. We have children, so we have a lot of white noise. As you can see, that's kind of what this is. So I could click this, Ray of Dreams. Um, I don't want Apple to have access to my music per se, so I'll just go don't allow for now. But and you could do a journal, maybe you had a listening session, maybe you're doing some medita meditation, maybe you had a workout, maybe you went for a walk while you're listening to music and you wanted to journal 
the way the song made you feel, you can also do a journal entry to music. All right, and then you see it comes back to the home screen and it adds on there. So very simplistic. All right, and if we go in and we just do a new journal entry, we've got start writing, it's got the date for us, then you can add any of kind of these suggestions. If you pick like the shining note pencil, you can do some of your suggestions, kind of your series suggestions, similar to the photos app, uh, the memories, um, some recommended and some recent. You can also add a photo. You can take a picture. You can add a voice memo, and then you can maybe write something based off of location. Okay, so you have kind of similar to the notepad app. You've kind of got your basic items when you go in there. It's almost like a note, but it's in the journal app, which will give it some more privacy, give it some features, and really kind of put it, in my opinion, on the line, along the lines of health more than notes and productivity. I think that notes is still a really good app for your productivity and day to day. I see journal being more of an app that can help with um, anxiety, mental health, and kind of be a stress reliever. So in a nutshell, this is kind of my first look at the journal app. I'm going to spend some more time on it, but for the most part, it looks pretty basic pretty dry. I would anticipate in future updates as this rolls out and more people start getting this on their phone that they may add some more functionality to it. I think in the beginning, they're on to something. I think mental health, they've already got the Apple Watch with physical health. I think if they start diving into the area of mental health, I think the journal app might be a first step into doing that, that Apple might actually be onto something, and this app could be pretty popular, but I think right now as it stands, pretty cut and dry, very basic, not a ton of features. However, I do think it's useful at its most basic form right now. Like I said, I do hope that they bring more features to it and some more functionality as time goes on, but I've been waiting for this since launch, so I'm going to play with it a little bit more um, and really flesh it out and kind of see for myself the value that it adds to my day to day and my week. Real casual video. I just wanted to take a first look at the new journal app that came with iOS 17.2. Let me know in the comment section below. Do you guys journal? Is this an app that you think that you would use? And what do you think of the journal app? Does it need more? Do you think it's already coming preloaded with enough features to be a game changer of an app? Let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Appreciate you guys watching this video. If you found this video helpful, if you like the content, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more tech related content on this channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe. Make sure you tag the bell so you know when new videos go live. But like always, be blessed. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.